happiness is an inside job. And I'm sure that you've heard this. I used to hear it a lot of time. My mom would always tell me, if you, you like, you can't depend on other people to make you happy. You have to be happy by yourself. It's, it's something that you do for yourself. But then people, like, every time I heard it, everybody just left it at that. Like, well, okay, how do you get happiness? I mean, I'm just supposed to be happy? Like, <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I need a step-by-step -step process, you know? <laughs> I need I need some specifics. It can't just be like, okay, you just have to be happy. That doesn't, that doesn't work. It never did work for me anyway. Um... So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, I was listening to Kathy Heller not too long ago, and she was talking about how we have a happiness set point. And she said that Brene Brown has done some research about this. And so, you know, there are multiple people that are talking about it, that we have this baseline of happiness in our lives, right? It's like a set point of how you feel every single day. Um and a lot of times it's like we kind of like feel like just blah. It's not like we're really happy. Maybe we're not really sad, but it's just kind of like average, you know. And you might feel something every once in a while. Maybe there's a big event that's going on. Um, I've been to some concerts recently, and that makes me so happy. Um, I love traveling as well. But those aren't like everyday things that you do. And um, I've been thinking about this a lot because one of my friends is starting a business where she's focusing on joy. And so she asked me, like, what do you do that brings you joy every day? And I'm like, I don't know. Is there something that I'm supposed to do every day that brings me joy? I mean, the only thing that I can think of is I go get coffee in the morning. So Starbucks brings me joy. Is that like, does that count? Um, I feel like it does because, you know, it, it, it gets me out of bed in the morning. <laughs> so that's good. Um, but other than that, you know, like there are moments where I feel joy, but it's not something that I have focused on on a daily basis until recently. Um, Something else that Kathy said is that we are only as happy as we allow ourselves to be. And that kind of hit me pretty hard because I was like, oh, sometimes when I feel really happy, it feels weird because it's like, I'm not used to this and I don't really know what to do with this. So I kind of have to like take that and go, hmm, maybe, um... Maybe I need to do something to make myself not be so happy. And it's almost like an unconscious thing, right? Like if you're feeling really good and happy one day, there's always something else that happens that knocks you out of that, um, which is actually, I mean, there's a good reason for that. That's, it's usually your ego that's pulling you back down to like, this is our baseline. This is what we're used to. This is normal. This is where you need to stay right? And it takes work to expand your capacity to feel happiness. I never thought about it that way, but it makes so much sense because, you know, it's not comfortable for us. We're, we like to be in the habit of how we usually are, which is something else that I talked about last night. We have this habit of being us. It's like you're born with a certain part of your personality and then you also have this habit um, of being you, which is made up of a lot of things that you've learned throughout your life and a lot of the things that you do every single day. So sometimes, a lot of us, if you're looking for more happiness, if you're looking for some kind of change in your life, um, or if you just want to grow more personally, you have to break some of those habits of being you. And part of that is allowing yourself to feel more joy to feel more happiness and to expand um, the set point of happiness. So how do you do this work? Like what is the work that you need to do? Well, the first thing that you need to do is to spend some dedicated time for yourself every single day. A lot of us don't do this. Maybe you think that you do because, you know, we spend time recharging and that's a big thing for us as INFJs. We need alone time to recharge. 
but it's good to have a special dedicated time of maybe 10 to 15 minutes in the morning to do something for yourself, something that is a routine, a promise that you keep to yourself every single day. And this could be something like meditation. I recently did Gabby Bernstein's um, med meditation challenge, and I had no idea what a big thing med meditation was, and it's made such a huge difference for me just to spend 10 to 15 minutes every morning doing this one thing that helps me focus on whatever the meditation is about. And I've noticed that it's helped me throughout the day as well. Um, so this promise that you keep to yourself, it could be meditation. It could be doing a short yoga class, uh, maybe uh, writing down and reciting affirmations in the morning. It might be spending some time journaling or maybe even getting outside and going for a walk. Um, I've read so much recently about vitamin D and the benefits of getting outside every day and also grounding yourself, like um, walking outside without your shoes on. It's, it makes a huge difference. Um, so that's the first thing is spend some dedicated time for yourself every single day. And the second thing is expand your capacity to feel happiness. Uh, and how do you do this? Well, happiness is like a muscle. You have to use it in order to make it grow or to expand your capacity. Um, so practice feeling happiness more often. Notice when you are feeling happy and notice when you start to feel the resistance. Notice when you start to feel your ego pull you back to that, that set point that you have and See if you can resist it. See if you can push back and expand your capacity um, to feel happy longer. And it might take some work and maybe you can only feel happy for a minute today, but tomorrow it's a minute and a half and next week it's five minutes and then ne the next week it's 10 minutes. Um, it might take some work, but you will eventually get there to where you can, you can you're able to feel it for longer. And so then the third thing is to push yourself. Um, a lot of times we get comfortable, right? We, we're comfortable being comfortable and we don't want to be uncomfortable. And so it's just like, ugh, you know, I have this change that I want to make, but I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. You know what? Next week is a whole new month. Actually, that was this week. <laughs> so <laughs> I have this thing that I've been wanting to do and I kept thinking September 1st and then I looked at the calendar and I'm like, ooh, it's September 3rd. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm back to next week. But don't get stuck in that habit of saying tomorrow or next week or when I have time or when I feel like it. Um, it's easy to keep putting it off but you're just gonna stay stuck wherever you're at. And the only way to get past that feeling of staying stuck is to take action, um, to, to be okay with being uncomfortable. Action is the only thing that's gonna move you forward. Don't put it off until tomorrow, do it today. Push past the resistance, feel the uncomfortableness, and do it anyway. So I created something to help you get started with this work. I wanna invite you to my 21 day come home to yourself challenge. This is inspired by Gabby Bernstein's meditation challenge. Um, I want to help you build confidence and elevate your true authentic self. And I know that it's so important to have accountability in doing this work. It's important to have direction and you know, like I said, it starts with a small promise to yourself that you're going to spend 10 to 15 minutes every single day working on yourself, just dedicated time doing something simple and easy. So that's why I created this to help you get started with that practice and to also give you some inspiration and some accountability too, right? So the challenge is going to start September 12th, which is not this coming Sunday, but the next one. That'll give you a little bit of time to prepare. And in the challenge, you get 21 daily lessons, so a lesson for every single day. And they're only going to take you about 10 to 15 minutes, so it's not like a huge time commitment or anything. But they are going to give you some, some big wins, some transformations in your life. 
um, you will definitely notice a difference with this work for sure. You'll get daily emails as well to keep you on track. Um, there's an exclusive membership platform. There's a journal that you'll be able to download. Um, there's a Facebook community that's dedicated just to this group. And then I'm also going to do a live training on the last day of the challenge. So is this challenge right for you? Well, it's perfect for you if you're ready to feel good about yourself. If you are looking to build some courage and self-confidence, um, if you want to get rid of the fear that's in your life, if you want to have more contentment and more happiness, if you want to expand your happiness set point, um, if you are ready to release self-judgment and step into self-love, if you really want to start the work of elevating your true authentic self, this is definitely, definitely something that you need. And if you register now, you will be able to get some pre-challenge prep work as well um, every single day up until the challenge. So I really want to invite you to do this. It is amazing information that I'm sharing, and I'm positive that you're going to have this huge transformation. Everything that I'm sharing with you is stuff that I have done that has helped me and that is continuing to help me. And so I want to share it with you. I feel like it's my obligation to share it with you because... I want to see you guys grow. I want to see you have more courage and more confidence and more happiness in your life too. So I really hope that you'll join me. Um, you can find it at infjwoman.com slash come home. And it will tell you all the information that I just told you, plus a whole lot more about it. Um, and if you have any questions, you can let me know. Um, you can find me on Facebook. Um, you can send me a direct message if you want to, or you can just post one in the group. Um, you can also find me on Instagram. If you want to send me a direct message on Instagram, it's at INFJ woman. Um, on Facebook, I think the messages are turned off. So you'll have to send me a direct message to my personal account, which is Sarah Kuhn. Um, but I will definitely respond to your messages and get back to you. So anyway, that's what I have to share today. I really hope that you'll join me. I, it's going to be so much fun, and I just can't wait to get started. So yeah, that's, that's it. Um, I hope you guys have a happy Friday, and I will see you again soon. So you just watched that video, and I'm sure you enjoyed it. If you want some more amazing information about INFJs, check out these videos right now. I'll see you there.